evening. Welcome to Davida's Stamp and Spot. It's Tuesday night, so I'm hopping on to share a 3D item, which if you know me at all, you know that is something unusual. I don't do a lot of 3D items, but this was just too fun of a project, so I just had to share it with you. And the um, you know me at all, oh. you know that is something unusual. I don't do a lot of there. I'm getting feedback. All right. All right. Hey, Chris, thanks. I see that you're watching. So anyway, these are the boxes. Rhonda Wade designed the larger box and Dana Davis took her idea and shrunk it down into a smaller box. So I just thought these were really cute and so much easier than I expected. And so I wanted to show how to make those tonight. And I'm also going to highlight a product or a, a suite of products that will be available starting uh, March 1st, which is next week. So um, I think I'll start with the products. So butterflies are such a versatile thing because you can use them for men or women. And so the first set is this one here, or the stamp set is called Butterfly Brilliance. And what is really neat about it is it's all one die. And you may say, well, why is that neat? Well, the neat thing is that it coordinates, or the stamps are all one stamp, and they coordinate with one die. So when you take, after you've stamped it, you take it over and one pass through the die cutting machine and you have one, two, three, four, five, six butterflies cut out, which is really neat. Now, they wanted to add to the fun, so they also designed these individual butterflies that have all the detail. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six on this page. The dies themselves, by themselves, are 44. The stamp set's 17. But if you um, bundle them together, they're 57. I'm sorry, 54, 75. It also has these little brick dies a small little bee or butterfly, some little dots, and another one, a little bit bigger than that one, and then just a fun uh, pattern. So you you get, let me see here, 12 different dies, but remember the one die actually cuts out all six butterflies, so like that. And, but wait, I'll be like the infomercial, there's more. They also designed some designer series paper for this suite. And the um, designer series paper is $11.50. There's one side. And on the back of it is that. There's the front. There's the back. Front and back. And the last ones, front and back. You get 48 sheets. So eight of each pattern, is that right? No, sorry, that's not right either. We got one, two, three, four. So 12 of each pattern. Now here's the really fun part, look at this. They designed it so on this pattern, the dies cut the whole thing out. So I'm gonna just show you how slick this works. I'm gonna slip over to my die cutting machine, line the dies up, and there you go. They're all cut out now. I until I was off to the side a little bit, but I could trim all those very quickly and easily. And that way they're already colored and ready. Another thing I was thinking what would be really cool with this is you could leave this paper and cut it and then take dimensionals and pop the butterflies up behind the paper too. So you get that dimensional look. Oh, and look, the back is even pretty. So that's really cool. And that is just the one pattern. The other butterflies are, um, the other papers don't cut out like this. Now I have seen where some people have cut the stamps apart for the separate butterflies. But keep in mind, if you do that, then this one die isn't gonna cut them all out. 
I mean, you can still use it. Then the other thing they put in the suite is this nat Natural Touches specialty paper. Sorry, I forgot to pull one out because with the shiny, you're... Okay, so it looks like a fine wood panel. So it's just wood that you can use. And it is just, it does have a pattern on the back too. I think this is the really pretty side. And it's got a little bit of a shine to it. I don't know if you can tell that, maybe a little bit. So that's everything that is in this butterfly bouquet. And if you get the entire thing, um, it's $71. So I was able to pre-order it in February because I'm a demonstrator, um, but all customers will be able to order it in March. All right, let's start creating. So first I'm going to do uh, Rhonda's box. So the lid is four and a, oh, you can't see that very well is four and a half by four and a half and scored at one inch all the way around. The big box here is the bottom of it is seven and a half by seven and a half and you're going to score it at two and a half all the way around. All right. Now the way Rhonda described it was score it at two and a half and five, turn it two and a half and five, but you're going to get the same effect whichever way you do it. All right, so then for my designer series paper on this one, um, the top part is one and three fourths by one and three fourths. So that's gonna fit like, like that. And then the, I cut these little strips that are one and three fourths by three fourths, so like that. All right, and since I wrote on this one so that you guys could see the, the dimensions, I'm gonna put an extra piece in there just to cover it up so that I'll be able to use this one. Hey Marie, hey Julie, Lois, Chris, so glad you guys are joining me. And I have to admit, I had a hard time deciding which side because I love these little butterflies. I just think they are so cute. But I decided I wanted to try something different. So we're gonna do just the, the pattern. The fun thing with this box is that you're where I'm not going to seal the bottom part of the box, so it just kind of explodes um, after you get the lid put on it. All right, so we're going to turn it over and now we're going to do it's like every other one. We're going to start with this middle section here. And then I'm going to skip one, do the next one, and work my whole way around the square. This month I've offered a bingo for four, goodness, um, for my um, customers as well as my team. Got a little extra glue there, I'm trying to get off. Um, and so my prize for my customers is going to be, they're going to get one of these little boxes and I'll show you. I have had two ladies, a shout out to Pam and to Cindy. They both have emailed me and said, hey, I got a bingo. So um, they're gonna get this and then they're going to get another little gift from me, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I wanna surprise them, but they are gonna get one of these cute little boxes. And I always have to laugh at myself. I love to mass produce. So once I learn how to make something, then I just think I have to keep making it all the time. So I look for excuses for ways to use items. That's just bothering me there. Sorry, guys. All right, so there's my bottom of the box. So it's gonna fold up just like, I guess I should have shown you. So what I did was I folded in like that in like that, same thing all the way around, okay? So then you fold up your edges like this and slide them in like that so your box has a decoration on the outside of each square, okay? So then for our lid, and the nice thing about this one, <laughs> I, I stole that lid. 
piece. All right, well, I'm going to cut one more. So, nope, there it is. Oh, if we could only not lose things on our desks, huh? All right, so we're going to put that there. Covers up my words, my numbers. So again, this one was four and a half. So on this one, I'm gonna, going to score or burnish with my bone folder here. And we're going to go all the way around the lid. And you're going to notice that I have slits. And what I did on this one was across from each other, you're going to cut the little, there's a little square on the edge and you're going to cut between the two. And I've learned from other demonstrators that if you cut it at a V, then it folds together nicer and, the, and the, it doesn't bunch up. So if you can see, if I put it down like this, you can see cut here and there and then straight across from it. So there's four cuts. And then I'm going to put glue on the squares because we've got squares and rectangles. This would be a good lesson for kids learning their shapes, right? Always a teacher, what can I say? Lois, you'd agree with me. You had to teach shapes to your little ones when you were teaching, right? All right, so we're going to get a little more glue there. Seal that down. So those of you that are watching that are on my team know that tonight, or today, it was announced that I was chosen for the um, demonstrator council. And I am super excited. I get to work with um, Chad Williams, who, if you came to the team meeting last January, you got to meet Chad. Um, he's just a great guy to work with. He's in the home office in Salt Lake City. And um, I'm also working with um, some ladies from Texas and Kansas and um, Missouri. So it's, I think it's just going to be amazing. I'm super excited. Um, I had to apply and had to fill out um, a survey after that or a questionnaire and then get interviewed by Chad and uh, super excited. I'll get to do it for the year of 2021. And I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so these strips here are three fourths of an inch by one and three fourths. I'm just going to put them on all four sections. Now this goes live on the 1st of March, but if you have not gotten all your celebration items, remember celebration ends on February 28th, so just a few more days. I thought about saving this for next week and showing another celebration item tonight, but I was just too excited about my boxes. So showing it to you early. All right, so there's your lid. So then you take your sides again and you've got your three sections, fold the first two in and then your center comes up and then you squeeze it just a little bit and it goes on. And there's your box. So simple. I couldn't believe how easy it was. So previously I did a bunch of different butterflies. Let me see, move that paper. So you can see some of them I cut out of one sheet of paper and then some others I just uh, die cut. I stamped them in our um, memento ink and then colored them. So you can just see some of the different butterflies. I thought with this one, if I had colored one of them in the magenta madness, I would have used that. But since I didn't have one available tonight, I think I'm gonna put the white one on there. So we'll slide those all over. I like to use glue dots when I'm using uh, for butterflies. I like to attach the center. Oh goodness, this, there we go. I usually tear off all that extra paper. I guess I wasn't paying attention. So we're going to put glue dots on the center. Like that. 
And the reason I do just the center is because then when you give this to somebody, you can put the wings up like that. And then I did put it to the edge a little bit so that I can stamp a little greeting um, and put a piece of paper up there or down here. And I wanted to add a little bling. So I grabbed my rhinestones and I used all of them on that sheet. Let me grab another one. I don't know about you, but I always end up with sheets because I'll use all of one size and then not the others. Here we go. So these are some old ones, but these here are connected. And I probably shouldn't show these because I think these are retired. I'm not sure they do this anymore. But I'm going to pull off some of these little ones. There we go. And put them on my butterfly. So this month during celebration, I wanted to add a little bling to your life. So if you order, if your order is over $40, you will get a set of rhinestones. Goodness, these are really old ones. Um, as an addition to your order. And of course, if you do $50, you get a celebration item for a couple more days here. There we go. So there's my bling in the middle. And then I'll add a little greeting there. <laughs> and honestly, the reason I'm adding the little greeting there is because I didn't get my butterfly on where I wanted him. You could also add stuff on the sides here if you wanted to. And this pattern, I think, is a fun kind of a white wa or a washed watercolor image. So you could do a lot with that, even if you don't want to do butterflies. All right. So that's my first one. Now let me show you how to do. Oh, I was going to show you the rhinestones. So these are what I'm giving away. There are 140 rhinestones on there and varying in sizes. We got the smaller ones and the larger ones. And if you place an order um, of $40 or more between now and the 28th, you'll get that as a gift from me added to your order. All right, next one. This is a smaller box that Dana designed. So the lid is three and five eighths by three and five eighths. And I scored it at three fourths all the way around. Then the box is five inches and I scored it at one and a half all the way around. Then I did the same thing. So what I did with the cutting, here, let me, I was going to cut a square. Well, quick. Um, let's see what I say that lid was. Five and so this will give you an idea of how to do this. So I'm going to do this lid that's three and five eighths. One, two, three, four. Okay. Turn it this way. So there's my square. So there's the three and five eighths by three and five eighths. Okay. Now I'm going to go over. And what I like about our, boy, that light's right there. Sorry about that. I'm going to go over on this side of the scoring and cutting uh, channel because three fourths on this side makes it even easier to line up. I like it because it's on the short side. So I'm going to score it at three fourths, then turn it, score it three fourths, all the way around. And I'm going to sneeze. How's that for live Facebook? Whoo, sorry about that. Excuse me. All right, so I've done my lid. So as you can see, it's scored at three fourths all the way around. Now I'm going to take my scissors and on that score line, I'm going to angle up to that point where that meets. Just like that. Okay. And then you're going to go all the way around and do the exact same thing. 
anytime you're making a 3D item with a box, especially with boxes or bags, you want to do this because it just makes a much um, cleaner connection point between your different sides. All right. So there you go. So now you can see. So then what I did was I took the bone folder and just scored all the way around. I could have done it easier to score if I'd have waited till after or to cut till after I scored it. It doesn't really matter. All right, so there you can see how I did that. For those that are visual learners like I am, I always need to see it. So that's what it looks like. Hold it up like that. Okay, so on this one, um, the bottom was five inches around on both sides and scored at one and a half. And it's, remember you take the three sides, the two outside go in, and then the two middle sections go straight up to do your box. So now for our lid, this one here, I decided to use white because I thought this paper was really pretty and it had some of the Just Jade and some of the um, Magenta Moonlight, which uh, Fran, I thought of you because I remember you saying this was your favorite color. I am not much of a pink person, but I do think this is pretty. Now, if you wanted to add more to this, you could put another layer because as you can see, there is quite a bit of space between the two. So if you wanted to add a frame around that, you could. And then these papers are a half inch by one and three fourths. And I'm going to put them. Now, when you put your papers on here, remember these sides are gonna go down. So you want the top going towards the square in the middle. And I did find when I cut my designer series paper that um, sometimes you'd end up with a strip or something that really didn't have much pattern to it. So you may need to cut an extra one or two. I don't know if I've got it laying here. I might have thrown it away because uh, there was a tiny fraction of a butterfly wing and that was about it. And if you do this to save on your paper, cut the like the one and three fourths, or on this one, it was two and a fourth. Cut that strip first, because then all of the strips are that length, and you can use up almost the whole strip cutting your different size pieces. So I think um, on these little boxes, I got almost two um, sets of papers for the um, for a box. So I got all the papers for this one plus one more um, out of one sheet, which I thought was good because I always worry about uh, having enough paper and stuff. So now I'm going to put my adhesive on the squares and we're going to fold them in behind the rectangle and then hold my fingers on it just a minute. Now if you're worried that this is going to go to somebody that's hard on things, um, you might want to consider using tear tape instead of glue. Um, I think the gals I'm giving my stuff to will be careful with it. So I just did glue. Line it up so it's nice and square. And then for my bottom, I've got to find all my pieces. I cut it before we had dinner tonight. Maybe I didn't cut the squares. All right. So there's, oh, ha, I know why. I'm looking for the wrong piece. So these are rectangles again because we're doing the rectangles. The smaller box um, is your rectangles are a little more pronounced than they are on the bigger one. So see how this one sheet of paper has all this different color in it. So that's why I chose the white because I thought it might look better with, let's see, that's kind of a strong. And again, you want um, on this one, ooh, I about did it wrong. On the bottom of the box, you want the top going towards the edge of the paper. So these need to go 
glad I caught that before I glued them. Okay, so again, we're just going to glue these down. So it was really fun. Um, this weekend, we got to um, have a baby shower for Danae, which was really fun. I told ladies at school today, it's kind of starting to seem real. Tried not to think about it too much. I kept thinking it was so far off and now March 17th isn't very far away which is fun to think she's already starting to dilate a little bit so we may even have a baby early we'll see I think she kind of has mixed feelings she's got a lot of uh, IEPs and special ed stuff she's got to get done before she has the baby so Hoping he's a little more on his due date, not too early. All right. So there we go. Again, you start on the rectangle, skip the square, rectangle, square, all the way around. And since I wrote on this, I'm going to take and cover it up with this. All right, so now we've got our four sides. So you're going to fold in, fold in, fold in, slide the box lid on top. And again, I'm going to choose a white butterfly because when I was coloring, I didn't know what I was gonna do with my butterflies. So I did not do pink, which is because pink really isn't my thing. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go with the big one. So I'm going to grab the dimensional, or not dimensionals, glue dots. And we'll put the butterfly on. So I have had a little bit of time to play with the butterflies. I'm going to show you. I hope I can get my hands on them. A couple more than I did. So there you go. And then what's fun is I just grabbed some um, Garbers. Um, I know when I saw Rhonda Wade's description, she put uh, chocolate kisses in hers. So then like this, close it up, give it to the person, they pull the lid open and it pops off with the goodies inside, which I just think is really fun. But of course, I did have to show you my oops. We'll see which one it is. I can't remember here. Yep, it's this one. So this one here, I did that paper that I just love, made my little box, put the butterfly on top that I colored with my blends. And I was just having so much fun gluing that I glued the whole box shut. <laughs> so they're not going to get an explosion box on this one. It's going to be a completed box but still turned out cute. So then I did one, um, another one, and I did it the right way. So this time I pulled out the yellow and it pops open like that. So you could put kisses, candies, whatever you want in there. Oops, I think I'm moving down so you can see them. All right. They all started off of this idea from Dana. She gave this to me last week and I just thought it was so cute. She used the strawberry set um, I highlighted it last week and then found out it's on back order. We're waiting on the punches to get in. So if you're wanting this one, it will be available, but not until I believe it's March 1st, maybe, which I guess is getting close. And then she put the strawberry candies in there, which is just super cute. And then I did this one here. I did a different one of the pattern papers and I added even more bling. You can see I add them in the center and then around it. And on this one, I put more of the starbursts in it. And then I wanted to try the bigger boxes. So I used the um, Mango Melody, used the big butterfly, and then it pops open. And then the last one that I did, I decided to use the smaller butterflies. So I did three butterflies 
And then again, it's the same thing. I remembered and it pops open instead of gluing it shut. So those are my boxes. So in the comments, tell me which box you like the best. And don't say Danish, you have to pick one of them that I designed. There we go, there's all of them that I've done so far. I have to tell you, it is addictive. So if you enjoy a 3D project, <laughs> this is really fun. And they go together so much easier than I ever expected. All right, so let's see if I can find my butterfly cards here. Well, I found two of them. So this first one, I did, I wanted to try white on white for something kind of elegant. And I, I like it, but I think it's, it's not done yet. I need to do some more with it. So just white on white didn't quite do it for me. So what I did was I went back and I cut it out with the misty moonlight after I colored the butterflies underneath. Then I added some of the paper and then I'm really into that um, textured 3D paper or this one's kind of the, I can't think what it's called. There's two different ones, but I added that. So those are the two butterfly cards. I've, I've got another one, I can't see it here. But anyway, these are the butterflies. So again, um, if you order it, you can, as a customer, you can order next week. Let's see. <laughs> well, Fran, if you think I'm broken because I don't like pink, well, I'm broken, I guess. <laughs> oh, she says March 8th on the strawberries. Oh, that's right. They did bump it back, didn't they? they uh, Marie says the yellow with the three butterflies. Chris says she likes the pink one with the butterfly on it. Okay. Well, my Oklahoma ladies have told me what they like. What's everybody else like? Which one's your favorite? I, I really um, wasn't sure about getting the butterflies just because I know we have had some butterflies in the past and we have some currently, but these coordinate so well, it makes it really nice. Oh, Lois likes the big yellow box. Okay, so the two big ones. So I've got two for this one and two for that one. I just think they're super cute. All right, so customers that watch this, because right now most is, okay, so any customers that watch this, if you buy this by the, any part of the butterfly suite by the 10th of March, I will give you a kit for a big box and a little box. So you'll have all your pieces cut and ready to go. And, Misty likes the pink, so I've got, it's tied now with these here, the, the big boxes, these here. So I'll be curious to watch the comments and see which ones you like. Um, again, celebration lasts through the 28th. So if you haven't picked out your goodies and placed an order, you wanna do that very soon. So you make sure you get those. And I think that's all I was gonna to share tonight. I don't know, it's been a really crazy week at school. So I'm kind of running on fumes tonight. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you guys will try a box. And if you do, please post a picture of it. I would love to see what you guys create um, off of the ideas that I start with. Just like I say in my classes, my projects are a starting point and then I like to see what you do with them after I get it started. Thanks for joining me this Tuesday. We'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping.